Hello and welcome back. This is Instatoris and we are playing the council. Uh, it's been a little while when I last recorded, unfortunately, because I played the cyberpunk through and through finally. Took me around 200 hours. Um, anyways, uh, now I'm back with this game and um, let's refresh the memory. Uh, yes. Hopefully I can remember those names. I'm horrible with names. Always have been. Have been. Um, what's next? Oh no, we are going to the guillotine door if I remember correctly. Yes, we are. So that's what is next for us. On the second note, um, yes, I will try to get this game through sooner rather than later. And... Um, I have a few ideas what I will play next, maybe even two games, but we will see. Anyways, let's go and tackle the puzzle, which probably will kill me. Or, well, not probably kill, but at least cut my hand. How much do I... Oh, 48 coins, huh? Hopefully I'm not missing so much. And I really should have uh, brightened the game. I little, I, I adjust a little my microphone voice, a uh, little louder, I think, uh, hopefully, um, and made a other little adjustments. So hopefully it works. Um, I yesterday that was well actually two days ago because now it's already Wednesday, but uh, yeah, I launched the uh, part. Four of the council, five is waiting, and this will be the sixth. And open consultant notes. Um, yes, Nissan. I'm pretty sure these will be important dates, and that's not a good thing. I have my do I have my papers and notes? Yes, now they are. Now they are. I definitely need papers. And because I like to take, make notes. Anyways, I have no idea what we are supposed to do. I do know that we have to put the nails on there. Okay. So, good. You've managed to gather all the keys. Yes, that's right. I have everything. What should I start with? Place the Clement III cross on the console. Then you have to put the nails on the disc of the door. Um... Where? What hole should I put the nails in? Well, I can't really advise you there, because I haven't exactly made the best choices myself. All I can say is that you have to insert one to choose a town, one to choose a chapter, and one to choose a verse. Town, chapter, verse. Okay, and what... She, what did you choose? What theme did you start with? As the fresco shows the birth of Christ, I placed one nail in Bethlehem, one in chapter two, and one in verse six. The iris opened a little. I thought it was normal. Behind the aperture of the iris, there is a duct in which I put my hand. I felt something like a valve at the bottom. I thought by turning it the door would open, or the iris would open completely, or something else would happen. Instead, I felt something like an axe cut off my hand. I really thought it was the end of me. What did you do then? Well, although I had made some unfortunate choices, I was lucky in that Mortimer was well stocked with drugs. I raided his supplies of medicine. Hmm, okay. Okay. All right, my turn now. Go ahead, impress me. I'll shut up and let you concentrate. Yeah, Chi, thanks. Thanks, Ma. Um. So I, I have everything. I have the books here. Uh, 
this old thing there. Can I? S is this the fresco? Or do we have anything else here? Oh, I forgot. I can't can actually run. Okay, uh, let's put the cross first. What happened? Uh, guess the team, but I heard a sound. Fresco. Okay, I can analyze from here then. That's the good thing. Let's start with the fresco. The fresco clearly shows the birth of Christ. Louis, I can assure you that that is not the solution to this enigma. This fresco's only purpose is to mislead. I know that now. Please, focus on another theme about Christ. We'll have to trust her. Well... Another... Team. Um, um, well, let, let, let's check the details then. You could see that the paint has come off in parts. Difficult to see what was there, but I can distinguish the letters N R I. Nothing more. N R I. I and R I. Uh, uh, yeah, so. Ah, can't remember. Um, uh, I and R I. Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Nazarenus Rex. Why, of course. They're part of the initials INRI that you can find on the cross of Jesus at his crucifixion. Yes, the king of the Jews. That's what it means, of course. Why, of course. INRI. Jesus Nazarenus. Rex Yodorum. These initials stand for Jesus the Nazarene, King of the Jews. This is the inscription which appears on the cross at the crucifixion of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. And, um, well, let's go with the analyze, of course. Yes, it's definitely a representation of the birth of Christ, but some of the details have flaked away. Or is this... I can't see any other clues. One thing is for sure. This enigma deals with the life of Jesus, like my mother said. Oh. Difficult to seven logic level two, cost reduced by three. Well. I N R I N R I would chat suggest and well if we are talking about jesus life oh yeah there's a lower corner and if this is to fool us then the crucifixion mm. hmm it looks like there are three types of inscriptions there there are three styles of writing and i've got three nails there must be a link. I must surely put in one nail per category. Yes, that's what our mother was already said. Uh... Clearly, we have names of towns, Arabian numerals, and Roman numerals. Yes, and what towns do we have there? And I'm gonna 
These towns have one thing in common. They're all related to the life and death of Jesus. For example, Jordan is the place of the baptism of Christ. There's something... Okay. Jerusalem, Golgotha. Golgotha. Oh, that's the place where he was crucified. Well, location. Um... Can I go and check something from... I'm guessing my mother won't... Okay. Uh, what was... Um... As a creed, you will need several items to open the cross of Clement. Well, of course, yeah, the uh, nails would... Uh, uh, Strengthen the idea of the crucifixion, so it should be crucifixion. Hopefully, um Okay, what do we have in here? This exegesis contains comments from Judas on the different gospels. It only contains certain chapters and verses. And the chapters are indicated by Roman numerals. The lexicon refers to different chapters and verses from the exegesis of Judas. Okay, um, let's check themes. So, I guess we are talking about crucifixion. I'm going with that. Chapter 19, verse 17. 19. Jesus was crucified. On the 8th of Nisan, 3,793, in a place near Jerusalem, the Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. 19. Is there a door? What was it? Um, a chapter. 19. There's a Roman number of 19. I can see it from here. Um, how about the Gutenberg? Chapter 19, verse 17. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the Place of a Skull, which is called, in the Hebrew, Golgotha, where they crucified him, and two others with him, on either side, and Jesus in the midst. Okay, I like... So, chapter 19. Well, town, more like... more place. Golgotha, maybe. Um... And verse was 17. Yes, 17. Okay, uh, can I? Chapter 19, uh, verse okay. 17. Okay. Can and I? he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew, Golgotha. Okay. Oh, my camp bat. No, no, no. It, it's connected. Come on, work. Where they crucified him, and two others with him, on either side, and Jesus in the midst. Okay, so... Can I actually... Oh, I have to go, yeah. What, 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 what? What about towns? Uh, Jerusalem. Chapter 14, verse 22. On the 7th of Nisan, 3793, Jesus shared his last supper in the cynical in Jerusalem. And Chapter 14, verse 22. And as they did eat, Jesus took bread and blessed and broke it and gave to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup, and when he'd given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. Okay, and... Um... Chapter 14, verse no, no, 22. No. 
On the 7th of Nisan, 3,793, Jesus shared his last supper in the cynical in Jerusalem. Okay, thank you, but I was going to back towns, Jerusalem, and what same chain? Chapter 5, verse 2. Jesus cures the sick and lame on the 8th of Adar, 3,791, in Jerusalem, at the Pool of Bethesda. All stand and fling away their canes. Okay. Mm, go back to Lexicon and leave. So... Let's go and see. What we can do. Insert the nails. Um, so. The place should be. Golgotha. Or Jerusalem. Hmm. Now that's. Okay, what I do know, it was the chapter 19, and then, then the verse was 17. It works! Well done, Louis! I hadn't seen those other wheels. Try connecting the theme to see if it goes all the way. Right. Um, let's analyze if hmm. I can. It looks like there are three types of inscriptions. Mm, let's read. Clearly. Oh. We have names of towns, Arabian numerals, and Roman numerals. Okay, so I can't really... Oh. There must surely be a connection between the wheels. Well, at least I think there's a... Um, uh, the Crown of Thorns. That would go with the Golgotha, I think. Um, let's go with the icons first. There are different icons on this wheel, but... It looks like some of them can't be connected to the other wheels. Okay, analyze the number of icons. Now, given the difference between the number of icons and the number of towns, I think that only one path connects all the wheels with one another. Let's try to connect the theme I've chosen with the rest. So the theme is crucifixion, of course, yes. Um... Uh, what does the Sarah say? Mother, what do you think? As I told you, I didn't get that far. Nevertheless, these icons do represent moments in the life of Christ. Okay, that's good. Um... And uh, then the dates. This wheel contains several symbols made up of one or two figures and one letter. The highest figure does not exceed 31, and each letter corresponds to a month of the year. A for April, and M for March. I think these symbols must represent a specific date. Okay... 8th of April, 3rd of June, 1st of April, 26th of March. Am this I... wheel contains several symbols made up of one or two figures and one letter. The highest figure does not exceed 31, and each letter corresponds to a month of the year. A for April, and M for March. I think these symbols must represent a specific date. Oh. 
Okay, and uh, then moons. This wheel represents the different moons. In the occult sciences, we represent the full moon by an X. As for the dark moon, called the new moon, in cults, it's, well, it's often associated with something harmful. Well, that really didn't help. So I have to put moons and dates. Um, So let's first check these texts again. Did I so chapter 19 verse 17. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan 3793 in a place near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. So crown of thorns Chapter 19, verse 17. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him and two others with him on either side, and Jesus in the midst. Okay. Um. So Oh, do I Okay, okay. So icons, how does it work? Um like this, I guess. So if I'm guessing right, the crown would go with the Golgotha. Um, but now it becomes a little bit problematic. Uh, date. I'm still... Do we have from the texts? What does this do? Okay, study. During new moon, the moon is entirely in the shadow. Then, the shadow moves from west to east, meaning left to right, and goes through the following states. Waxing crescents, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent, and the cycle starts over with the full shadowed new moon. The moon shadow moves from west to east. Oh. Hmm. See the notes. Um, uh, 
how's the do we have six Rajab six one one sixth of Rajab six hundred eleven waxing crescent okay okay do I actually have no I can't so do I have every actually I don't Okay, um, let me remember, let me remember, what's the crucifixion? I, when, when was the crucifixion? I haven't, I can't remember. Oh, I'm trying to make a. <laughs> can't remember them. I vaguely remember it's Nissan month, no idea dates. That really doesn't help me at the moment. What can I do with... I should know. What can I do with this? Is there actually a... Let's see what combination corresponds to the chosen theme. Mm, let's go with the kiss to right. By following the clues in the Bibles and the architect's notes, the crucifixion took place on the 8th of Nisan 3793, according to the astronomers of that time. That would correspond to March 26th in the year 33 on a modern calendar. Okay. So I should put 26th on the crucifixion date. Let's see, let's see. Okay. So, do I get the... Uh... Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, so... Moon. Twenty six of March, thirty three. Eight of Nissan, seven Shaban. Okay, so seventh of Shaban, six oh seven, first quarter.
But Seventh of Shaban, six oh seven, first quarter. First quarter, okay. Can I let's see what combination corresponds to the chosen theme? So can I use yes? According to the architect's notes in the armillary sphere, the moon during the crucifixion was a first quarter. That's the one with its left half in the light. First quarter. So, is this the first quarter now? I would. Should be so. Oh, no, no. this is this is. Oh no! Did I lose my hand? Golgotha. Uh, crown. Twenty-six March. Let's let's. Let's see, let's see. The moon shadow moves from west to east. Yes, yes, yes. 26, 7, Shaban. Seventh of Shaban, 607, first quarter. Okay. I have no idea. Is this correct? I I don't know. I really don't know. Oh no. Do I want to stick my hand in it? Ah here goes nothing. I I basically I'm not sure if I understand this correctly. Oh no, I don't want to do this, please. I'm pretty sure with the place, and I'm pretty sure with the crown, the date. Basically, I'm believing that my character got this right, because without those helps, I, I have no idea what I should do. Ah. Uh, Oh no. I can feel the lever at the bottom. Good luck. Ah, oh, here it goes. Oh no, I'm gonna lose my hat. I never doubted you, my son. Really? 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 Okay, okay, oof, 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 basically half of the puzzle I just trusted what my guy said. I hate those date conversions, I, I'm bad with those. Uh, I could have reviewed the conference results with Manuel Godoy, okay.
Okay. Whoa. Next episode it is. I was almost certain that I will lose my hand. I guess you can lose the hand. Maybe something I should try next time when I play this, maybe. Okay. So basically I still don't know which one survived, Emily or Emma. Well, I don't know anything about it. At the moment. So I have four points only. Um, Can I see my books? Yes, I can. So what, if any, I can study. Um, logic, I have two points for logic. Or two points for politics. Or two points for linguistics. Right. Two points. How's my linguistics going? Um, two points for that too. Uh, I do have four points, so what do I want? I could level conviction, of course. Um, or I could... But does it help? Two points here, then I could use two points, but not get it up anymore. Lo uh, logic, unlike, very unlikely to get it quite higher from there, even if I put the four points in it and get the two points from the books. Conviction. So basically I could get one point in there, and uh, that means I would need three points. Ah. Uh, and what? Agility, diversion, and... Oh! Manipulation, psychology, and politics. Okay, so I could get uh, three points to politics, I guess, and um, one point in psychology. So, that's interesting. So, one, two, and three. So, two points here, and it would go le up level. Psychology, well, that doesn't help. So, okay, I'm gonna check this again. Two points here, and after that, books give me one, two, and three. Hopefully, I can actually put three books. Well, whatever. So, two here, and two here. Yeah, I think this is this is fine. This is fine. This is absolutely pay. And skip. <sighs> so we played the fourth. And we are going to the uh, third. Third. We played the third. We are going to the fourth. And then we have still four. Uh, how's my thinking situation? I could get some water, so I, I'll be right back.
Honestly, I still can't believe I'm <laughs> I managed to keep my hand. But anyways, let's jump in the fourth one and see what the deal with the demons are. So three books. Uh, yeah, I should. So it, it was politics, yes. This give me one point of politics. Politics and politics. And that means... Oh, yes. Um, everything should be a okay, yes. I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us, too. I believed in him. I followed him to the best of my ability. I championed his ideas, defended his decisions, and then, without even realizing it, I became lost. Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Louis, you really must learn to conceal your weaknesses better. If you don't want your foes to use them against you. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. It is the natural order of things, Monsieur de Richet. There have always been men who govern other men. That is simply the way it is. History forgets them with a disconcerting facility. No one speaks about them, and yet they whisper in the ears of kings and presidents. Well, well. But where are we? I don't know, but we better not hang around. Where are we, actually? Um, yes, we'd better keep our guard up. Be careful, Mother. As if me saying that will make any difference. Knowing Mortimer, I wouldn't be surprised if he rigged his crypt with traps. So you think the door is not enough? Do you want to wager your other hand? You've got a point there. We have to find that weapon. What do you know about the Holy Lance, Louis? The what? The Lance of Longinus the Centurion. Um. Now that you mention it, I did catch Von Volner in the middle of an altercation with Piaggi. What? Von Volner blamed his eminence for having supplied Mortimer with all the lances in the Vatican's possession. If Mortimer has all of them in his possession, it's not going to help us. Seriously? You don't really believe that fable, do you? Every fable is founded on true events. I'm not saying that everything adds up, but imagine if it really did exist. Very well. Now what? Well, now you know what you need to find. Pardon? I have to get to the wharf to prepare our departure. Let's get off this cursed island as quickly as we can. We shall come back when we are ready and armed. But hang on. Louis, let's first get to safety. We shall come back when we have the upper hand. Fear not. You take care of getting the lance. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. Hang on. I at least tell me everything you know about this lance. But I have never seen it. There's nothing else I can say, Louis. Well, you can always go snooping around Mortimer's study. I remember seeing paintings of Longinus there. Uh... Hang on a second. What's the matter? Why did you shoot Emily's sister? Do you really think now is the right time for this? Yes. I want to know, Mother. Why did you betray her? Listen, Louis. I don't think you've really understood my interest in the Al-Azif. It's not just simple curiosity about some old relic. You tried to kill her. And I had no choice for crying out loud. It must not fall into the hands of the demons, or we are all doomed, don't you see? Listen, I don't know exactly what it contains, but I prefer to be one step ahead. If they want it, 
There must be a reason. And even if I don't know what it is, I want to stop them for safety's sake, no matter what. Nothing will stop you if I understand correctly. Not Enough, even Louis. If you could see the extent of their power as I do, then you would understand what I'm saying. All right, we'll do it your way. One more thing. If they find you in possession of the lance, they won't let you get away with it. Choose only one and hide it under your jacket so you don't get caught with it. Then run and meet me on the wharf. Oh no, again. I don't know what's... It really didn't disconnect, but... Okay. I never had a problem with this before, until this game. And if I get caught? If they catch you in possession of the lands, we're all doomed. Do you understand? Perfectly. Good. And go talk to Piaget. He's the one who probably knows the most about this. Okay. <sighs> well, that's... That's easy. Find the Holy Lands, of course, of course. Um, so I guess I have to go back and talk to people. And uh, I think she said something about the study, of course. What do we have here? What do we have here? Oh, a lance. I can see that this lance has a so-called leaf shape. It is made entirely of iron. I can see that the tip is engraved with the symbol of the sun. Okay, uh, so... Okay, we have the... Lances here. Oh, there's something. Amber. Amber. Yes, we're back with the amber. Uh, how far we can actually go in this area? Um, I'll... This sarcophagus is engraved with the name of Clemens III. Good God! The one whose cross allowed me to enter. That was the Pope from the Middle Ages who inspired the Third Crusade. He gave the Roman people the power to elect their magistrates. Mm, okay. He was basically an anti-Pope. His path to the throne was pretty turbulent, and he had to be enthroned several times. The result of a long conflict between the Papacy and the Holy Empire. Um... I... I'm not going to use this just yet. This sarcophagus is beautifully made, but ancient. Stone is marked by the passage of time, but it's really well preserved. Okay. Uh, good to know. So, yeah, I have to go and talk with the Piaggi and uh, probably try to go to the study also. Most likely first... I'll try to go to study, I think, but uh, how huge this area actually is, I heard something, yes, oh there's a, also, oh no. Anything else? Can I see? I'm not still buying that whole demon thing. Although, I have to say, this starts to look convincing to the supernatural. This one has no name. I wonder who it was for. This one okay. has no name. I wonder who it was for. So, 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 so. Can I go? No. 
So this is a dead end. I'm not picking any of those spear tips before we know something about them, hopefully. And I'm guessing my luck will run out and I probably choose poorly. But before that I want to scout this area. I do actually I do enjoy the graphics of this game. It's it has certain appeal. When I started I was like a little bit okay, interesting looking, but uh, they are starting to grow on me and uh, definitely the atmosphere with these graphics is it's working. It's working. Not everything has to be a photorealistic always. Although there's nothing wrong with those kind of graphics also, but is that a um, devil's thought? Okay. So I don't have any space, unfortunately. There's a cross over there. Right. Interesting the place to put the Spear of Longinus. And more tombs. Flavius Aetius. Mm, it was cut a long time ago. You could tell by the rough hacks of the tool and the patina of the stone. This sarcophagus is very ancient. Might say it's several centuries old. I remember. He was the Roman general who defeated Attila and his hordes in the terrible battle of the Catalonian plains. Flavius Aetius. The one they call the last of the Romans. He was assassinated by his own emperor, who was jealous of all his victories. But how did he end up here? Yes, that is the question. Flavius Aetius. And... Flavius Aetius, the one they call the last ah. of the Romans. He was assassinated by his own emperor, who was jealous of all his victories. But how did he end up here? Okay, so nothing new from there, and uh, what do we have here? Do we have anything here? Uh, is this a... I think this is a dead end, yes. Fortunately, I can't jump, so... I'm gonna check the... Confirm that the, oh there's something blinking. Yes, it was honey and that actually looks quite alike. Quite a lot like the spear of Longinus, uh, at least uh, similar. What you usually see when you try to find the pictures, of course, it's the spear is. If I remember correctly, it's in the middle of it. It's not actually the whole thing. It's been altered in the uh, times past. But anyways. The sarcophagus has been ravaged by time. It's sort of ageless, I guess. It's entirely sculpted. Is that Greek? These symbols, these grooves, cuneiform script. This is humanity's oldest alphabet. The language of Babel. Sadly, no one today even knows how to decipher it. There's also some text engraved beneath in ancient Greek. Sargon. Okay, and uh, well... Let's try to understand. Is this the tomb of a king? Judging by all the sculpted symbols of power, this is really ancient. The inscriptions are all eroded. I don't know what those marks mean, but maybe a stone or an epitaph. So, 
nothing we can decipher at the moment. Um, yeah, that spare looks uh, part uh, and could be the Longinus, spare of Longinus. But anyways, um, I'm not going to pick it up just yet, just because it seems like it. Uh, as there may be others and and of course oh oh I can't actually yeah I can't actually go back there and who's okay this cannot be interacted um yeah, I need more information, but I'm not sure if there was earlier similar looking. It could be also some of these. If this game is actually trying to distract you, putting one of those which you usually think, oh, there's definitely one. And the second one. And I guess there's the... Oh, there's a different one. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. Um, yes, we have a choice to make. A royal jelly. That is good. That is good. We need royal jelly. Um... Have I actually finally managed to search? Oh! What do I see from here? I s what about this lance? It's got a spear shape. And the blade is partly made of copper. A barely visible crucifix is engraved on the blade. that i actually thought that would be a coin but um that might be actually be be the real longinus in this game maybe but the sarcophagus of lord mortimer wait what lord mortimer it's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the mortimer family name what ancestor can it be there's no inscription Let's see what we can find here. Yes. Ha! Huh. Great. Now let's see what's inside. The sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. It's the only sarcophagus oh, okay, in this crypt okay. which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. I must. Oh, sorry. What Wrong ancestor button. can it be? There's no inscription. So. Apparently, I can't. Well, it's empty. And I got some royal jelly. Uh, if I would have to make a guess, I would guess that that lance over there is the real one, and definitely that one in the pedestal is the fake one. But, uh, before that, yeah, I could grab that now and leave. But we are going to check the study and talk to Piaggi and see if we can talk with others also, maybe. And yes, definitely I still don't trust my mother. She is keeping things from me, so but everybody else also. 
so I have to be a little wary with those people around. And again, I can't... I really want to know the answer, which one I choose, Emily or Emma. That... Oh, that was fast. That I do want to know. So this is going to be a little bit problematic because I have to most likely check everything again and see if there's any changes or if I can talk to anyone. Well, we have to see. Come on. Oh. Golden elixir. Hmm. I'll keep it for later. Yeah, that is good. That is good. Anyways, let's run along. And where are we going now? I think I enter from here. I try to go to these levels as fast as I can. Do I even want to go here? I do actually. Because let's be honest, those other people actually tend to move around. Whoa. Oh, that was the painting. Okay. So I'm gonna just run along and uh, hopefully see what I can see. And here we are. I'm almost certain that I will not find oh anyone. From these rooms? Oh! I was wrong. Um, you are Piaggi, yes. I'll come talk to you later. Before that, I want... I heard something. Ah. How did I miss that earlier? Oh, that wasn't... That was a glint on the... S Almost said sun, I meant moon. Yes, Piaggi, I talk to you later. Because you are in a perfect place for me. Of course, I do hope that you won't disappear or jump. Oh, is that a Washington? Let's see, what what did I know about Washington? Immunity to manipulation, so never go with that then, at least. Good evening, Mr. President. Good evening. Mm, about the hole, yes. I'm back on the trail of my mother again. I don't have time to explain, but... Would you know anything about the Holy Lance? I... Ah, uh, that's good news. But be careful, Louis. You might end up getting noticed. Do you know anything or not? No, I regret I don't. But why not ask von Wallner? Theology is his field, after all. That's an idea. In that case, I'll try and find him. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. You're right. Thanks for everything, Mr. President. See you later. See you later, alligator. Did I... Oh, there's a coin there. This is Thursday. Am I actually... Have I actually missed that coin or... Do some new coins... Well, this is a new chapter, so that could be a new coin. What do we have here? 
mysterious note. Oh, now we got the notes by the Richer. Ah. So, I guess that I probably need to be on the lookout for coins and um, other new things, maybe. Oh, wrong button. I was going to check the... So, immunity still, manipulation, nothing else. Okay. Do we have anyone in here? There's, there's definitely something. And that means that's definitely something new, because... I'm almost certain I haven't missed that. So that changes things. That I may have to be a little bit more perceptive if I even can. The only problem is that uh, there's also that the uh, blue lightning lighting effect, which can be which can actually fool you sometimes to think that there's something you can pick up while there isn't actually. I'm sorry if I'm blabbing about because uh, I just realized I'm a little bit tired, but I still want to continue. Um, okay, uh, wrong way. see what we can see did I hear a bling 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 I think I may have okay um yeah. No, sorry. I think I... Can I talk to you? Do you have anything to say? Pardon me, monsieur, but I have work to do. Okay. I... Yes. I'll go... This level as fast as I can. Before we continue up. Hmm. I don't see anything. Can I enter here? I'm pretty sure that I will not find anything new from here, but no, I'm already full with that, so yes, I think we're done here. I'm trying to be as fast as I yeah, fast as I can. But also, I don't. Vilna. It seems like he isn't here. Well, of course he's not here. And I need. Look, a, a blotter. And apparently it's been used recently. I wonder what Volner was going to write. It's smudged, it's not all legible. I can make out the signature though and leave as as if planned la leave lands um I'm going to use this landings 
Dadje landing stage. So Voner is going to leave Al Azif at the landing stage, isn't he? Okay. Um, Al Azif landing stage. Okay. And what else do we have? What a mess! Looks like Volner was interrupted. Looks a lot like straw, and he's drawn something in a hurry on this sheet. Okay, let's look. Not straw closer. on his desk, as if to, as if to protect something fragile. Yes, someone must have packed something away here. And uh, I get the feeling that I've seen that somewhere before. I've seen occult inscriptions like this before. They're, they're not very common. As a matter of fact, I've only seen them once before around the lock of Al Azif. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Johan, I know you are trying to find out what happened to Elizabeth, uh, but it's getting out of hand now. Your escapade on the continent cost me enough as it is. I know it hasn't been easy for you leaving Elizabeth confined in her room for a month or so, so she doesn't bump into Sarah. But to run away, without warning, I had to lie to cover you, Johan. Act as if you arrived separately only a few days ago and pursued William to do the same with his guests. I demand that you come to your senses and take a hold of yourself. I ask you to fetch something so we can get it off the island and not for to study in it vain hope of acquiring power. It won't give you any answers, let me be clear on that. At most we run the risk of losing it again. So for the last time, please go and leave it at the at the agreed place. I can confirm that someone will pick it up immediately, Gregory. Oh. Okay. Right. Right, 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 right. What you recovered for me. It must be about the Alazif. Volner told me that he had managed to find it. Yes. And I'm gonna drink all of this now. Hopefully I can get some more. Golden elixir. Well, at least I got golden elixir. So the book is somewhere, landing stage. Um, do we have something here? A chemistry set. That's not surprising coming from Von Wolner. A chemistry set. That's oh. not surprising coming from Von Wolner. Why do I think we might need it later? Maybe. Or maybe not. Who knows? So, let's see what Volner has in his bookcase. Okay. Uh, a few works on religions, two scientific essays about human thought. Most of these works are on alchemy. Longini Militis Fabulum. Ah, what have we here? It looks like a kind of biography on Longinus the Centurion. Truly. Volner has done everything he can to get information about that lance. Mm, I'd better keep this one, though. Okay. Dirty shit. Damn, that's all I need. Maybe he knows something about the lance. What are you doing in my room? Okay. Uh, Velda, Velna. No idea. I don't know his vulnerabilities or immunities. Um... Uh... 
Well, that is true. Sir, perfect timing. I, I was looking for you. You were looking for me? Well, here I am. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you might help me. You're the one looking for the lance. No, Don't I... take me for a fool. You are looking for the holy lances. Yes. Um... Let's try this. What are you so afraid of? What's the matter? You seem completely panicked at the idea I might be interested in this relic. I... No, no, that's not true. What are you so afraid of? I'm not afraid. You know Mortimer's got it, so you're not worried that I'd give it back to him. What are so you? So why are you so terrified of me being able to find it? You have no idea what it is you're looking for. What are you playing at, Richet? Mortimer's the one who has that cursed lance. How long have you been looking for it? Ah, I see. You want it, and so you plan to steal it from Mortimer. For a long time. Isn't that right? Why, you little swine! You're planning to give it to Sir Gregory. You're looking to double-cross me and Piaggi too. What on earth is he talking about? Yes... Mm. Let's go with subterfuge. But calm yourself, goddammit. You're the one I'm trying to help. What? What? I heard you talking with his eminence, and it seemed to me that this story about the lances had put you in a tight spot. I was only trying to be helpful. But why didn't you tell me straight away? Seeing as I hadn't found it, I, I didn't want to commit myself too quickly. If I failed, I, I would look like a beginner. Uh, I understand, Louis. I thought you were trying to manipulate me. But please, uh, excuse me. I got a little bit uh, carried away. But you can't get ahead by staying in the shadows on a case like this. There are already several of us searching for the Lance of Longinus. And it would be smarter to pool our information. Unfortunately, I've barely made any progress. I'm still trying to find out what the original Lance really looked like. Ah, let me reassure you, we've all been there, given the number of copies there are in existence. It also took us quite some time to discover its true shape. Many believe the central part of the head of the Lance to be covered in gold, whereas, in truth, its center is made of an alloy of copper and iron. That does make sense. In those times, a centurion wouldn't have any chance of possessing a lance made of gold. Ah, that is the perversion of Christian idolatry. A copper lance could not have been noble enough to pierce the side of Christ. Anyway, thank you, sir. You're welcome, Louis. But keep me posted as to your research. We're bound to end up recovering it. I'm counting on it. See you later. I managed to get the biography of Longinus the Centurion. Let's see what it can teach me. Hmm. An interesting passage here tells me that the lance is engraved with the symbol of the first Christians. The fish. Okay, so it's not there. Um. Spear of Longinus. Yes, the golden ones. You most likely you'd uh, remove straight away. It's uh, it's like a it's the idea that it has to be a golden one. But to be honest, I really had no idea what he was talking about. Did I actually? Interesting. I. Why didn't I discover any immunities or weaknesses? That actually went better than I thought. Uh, was the Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade where? Uh, there was the Holy Grail, and uh, there was a really bad choice because the uh, 
they uh, because they're can't remember the character's name. Uh, choose a golden cup. Oh, it's actually marking this. Okay, good. Uh, golden cup has a holy grail because, of course, uh, a cup of the Christ should be the most beautiful, most elegant, lots and lots of gold and whatnot. But obviously, India Jones choose better one. He chose the wooden cup for the wood uh, carpenter. Remember, he was a oh, and there uh, was it, and the uh, the the Nazi woman actually chose the cop for the the main evil character which remember eludes me at the moment it's been a while since I watched the Indiana Jones movies actually I should watch them again sometime uh, been meaning to quite a lot of times but always something comes up and I forget and watch something else anyways back to the game uh, yeah the so okay there's a power struck struggle and um, everybody wants to have piece of it and there are clicks trying to find the spear I guess and uh, to be honest I can't trust anyone the colonel's not in his room I bet he went back to stuffing himself oh little gluttony anyways what do we have here royal jelly i will take that thank you very much i'm gonna my dear giuseppe poor health forbids me from joining you please thank sir gregory for his invitation to lord mortimer's i'm convinced you'll be able to strengthen our agreements please tell sir gregory that his enterprise concerning our friend Cardinal Bishop Chiaramonti is following its course. I place my trust in you. May God bless you and give you protection. Oh, we already know this one. Oh, sorry. As you can see, it's been a little while since I last played this, so I can't remember everything what I have done. I especially read uh, the is there something behind the... No, it's the light again, lighting. Uh, let's go out. Eat. Uh, have I checked? Let's mm. have a look at his personal papers. Of course, it's in Latin, the language of the church. Of course, and I'll... Ooh. I'm gonna use this. All those hours of learning Latin declensions are gonna pay off in the end. Mother will be proud. Now this could be interesting. Mancea Sancte, various representation criteria, of which are shown the most common throughout the centuries, and in different forms. If Piaggi's notes are anything to go by, the weapon I'm looking for is shaped like a tapered spear. Well, that should help me identify it. Yes. I don't know why I'm writing this up because basically I think we have well I learned that it was shaped like a spear oh no really thank you for that it's good I think and um, yeah I think we're done the colonel's not in his room I bet he went back to stuffing himself 
Okay, we already know he's there. We saw him. Anywho, let's go. Oh, this is my room, I think. Yes. Inferno by Dante. Oh. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very jolly. Very jolly indeed. And um, I want to go to the balcony. Well, I kick myself if I don't go, so I have to go. Um, okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. I should have guessed, but. Anyways, it's good to check. Oh. And off we run, off we run. Okay. I'm still missing the vulnerabilities. Am I going actually? Yes, I'm going the right way some of the vulnerabilities and strengths and uh, if we are in chapter 4 I think we're running out of time have I missed them? I have no idea okay so we have Napoleon Emily slash Emma and uh, was the Spanish guy earlier I think it was Was it locked? Okay, uh, is this something we already know? Dear E, I received your last letter. Unfortunately, the Crown informed the Golden Order that our mission should under no circumstances hamper oh. Sir Gregory's plans. Yes, we know this already, and... but... Okay, it's the painting. And uh, a letter from William Pitt okay. the Younger addressed to Emily. He's the present Prime Minister of the United Dear Kingdom. Dear Gregory. All oh, right, I've retrieved everything. Okay. A letter from William Pitt the Elder addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. This yes. letter dates from 15 years ago now. Madam. Okay. Um, those we have already read. Can I see the? Okay, yeah, that got his room. I think it was locked. Uh, can I go to the other rooms through here or... Oh, I do have to remember go to the study. I almost forgot. Forgot, I mean. Oh. I can enter from here, but not here. Okay, that is good. This is... Modern interrogation techniques. Ah, questioning is already maxed, yes. What, what else do we have in any in inventory message review? Okay. So there are some new... Dear Monsieur Peru, oh. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Yes. I have Oh, nice. Great, honey. Anything else? Apparently not. Is he... Where is he, actually? Dear friend, please come and join us. We must meet about the ongoing operations in Paris. A boat will be waiting for you in Calais, and we'll take you to Dover in England. From okay. There. I, 
I think we have already read that because that's uh, invitation. Is that for spanking or for the shoes? I guess it's for the shoes. Or boots. Uh, interesting, he's not inside here. Can I go to the Napoleon's room? Uh, that's the painting. I'm almost through this. Um, Nice jelly. And golden elixir. I'm gonna check the. I think. Was this the good ice room? Yes, this is. And uh, it's locked. Okay. Understandable. Let's see if we can find Napoleon. Okay. Again, there's no way to talk with Napoleon. So we are going to the study and after that we go to and talk with Yachi. We do have nice information about the spear if we can go here I yes we can okay oh little Just checking if I have my notes. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's still the statue. Something over there. Mm, Devil's Thorn. I really should use them, but I think I'll try to use Devil's Thorn a couple of times. And that was Dante's Paradise Inferno or something like that. Something or other. It, ah. That unfortunate. Bird. Was there uh, paintings? Yes. Okay, pounds. Can I? Hmm. Can I even enter here? Okay. Well, I think we go to talk to Piaggi then. My brains are so mushy at the moment, so oh, go down. It. We do have. Quite a, quite a lot of actually information, and it wrong button. It should be enough. I would guess that the information we have uh, will help to find the real one. Yes, it's a butterfly. Yes. And BRG. Anything? Anyone else? Anything else? 
No. What was... What do I know about the archie? Vulnerability to questioning, but immunity to erudition. And the erudition... Well, yes. Your eminence, would you have a moment to spare? Not now, Louis. Please, leave me alone. I beg your pardon? I want to be alone. Very well. I, I'm only searching for information about the lance of Longinus, the soldier. If you, you could... not listening to me. You are playing with fire. I heard you speak to Mr. Von Volner about it, and I was wondering if you could tell me something about it. That was a private conversation. How could I have known that he was listening to us? Hmm. I see what you mean. Louis, don't push it. Leave while you still can. Your Eminence, are you all right? What is Your Eminence, this? are you with me? Can you turn around, please? What do you want to know about the Holy Lance, Louis? Your Eminence, turn around. This is the weapon used by a Roman centurion on the very day Christ was nailed to the cross. Look at me. Longinus thrust his lance in the right side of Jesus. Please. As you wish. His nose is bleeding. So you are looking for the holy lance of Longinus, are you? Yes. No, no, I I was wondering about it myself. Oh Louis. It's even worse than I thought. I believe you when you say you've only come to find out more. But in that case, uh, it means that Sarah didn't even tell you the point of it all. Because, believe me, you are looking for it. You are looking for the lance. You should know you are not the only one. Lord Mortimer has spent a good part of his life and his fortune trying to find it. Never will he let you have it. But tell me. Before going any further, have you spoken to anyone else about this? Hmm. No, no, Your Eminence. I thought you'd be the only one able to help me with it. Your words lack conviction, Louis. If I'm asking you all these things, uh. it's for your own good, you know. You have no reason to lie. Okay, so we know his immunity. Me? Imagine you find it, which I don't doubt, given how resolute you are when you've got something on your mind. Then what? What are you going to use the lance for, exactly? Oh, let's go with this. I need it. Why? You won't understand. <sighs> Try me. Louis. I need to protect myself with it. Louis, I thank you for your sincerity. I shall answer you about Longinus. You deserve to be told. His spear-headed lance did indeed pierce the side of the Messiah. His blood gushed out, covering the head of the lance. It was covered in the blood of Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Your Eminence. You are welcome. Be careful, Louis. You are on a perilous path. Don't follow Sarah's demons, my boy. Don't delve too deeply into her delusions, or you won't be able to come back. The demons that she is frantically trying to drive away are in her own mind. Take good care of yourself. God keep you. Well, this... Um. Now, possible information source, so specialists in esotericism, artistic depiction, sacred texts. Uh, but what happened there?
did I have any information about his immunity? Sir Gregory, was it you who were controlling Piaggi? Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. But can I get any m more clues? Because I think I already know enough. Well, none, it's copper rimmed. Piaggi is a shape of a boar spear. Uh, shaped like a spear. Okay. In the biography of Langerni Center, the lance is described as being an engraved with the symbol of fish and the tip. Oh, but is there anything in the secret room? Okay. Is there actually what's the thing? Oh, it's the book you shouldn't read, but you want to read anyway because I don't know reasons. Because your mother told you not to. Do we have? any spears oh there might have been in Piaggi's room perhaps oh there's at least a crucifixion scene but so there was a note in there okay so I can't check it oh or can I Christ Crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Interesting, interesting. So... To be honest, um... I I I don't know what to do. Uh, well, basically I should I feel I feel that I know enough. I can't even control these. And um I'm to I have talked with the specialist. I uh, well, I think we know enough. I'm most certain that we know it. I hope we do know enough. Oh, that that wasn't actually anything important. I it just was. Let's go and check the. No, oh, wrong button. Uh, check the. I don't think there's any reason to go again to see if there's something else there because I don't know. I feel like uh, we know quite a lot about the spear. We know the material, we know the shapes, we know the engraving, especially the engraving. But interesting is that um, hmm. 
those notes and what the BRT told they were very very weird and of course the Piaggi's um, demeanor but again I'm pretty sure The person was actually Sir Gregory. Let's see. I can see that this lance has the characteristic shape of a spear. It is made of iron, and its tip is engraved with a cross. No. That is not right, then. I think... Where was the... Was it here? I think it was here. Oh, that might be wrong. But let's check anyways. I can see that this spear has a, a so-called leaf shape. It is copper rimmed. I can see the tip is engraved with the symbol of the Eye of Ra. Yeah, definitely wrong. Definitely wrong. I remember it, that there would be the, the other shaped spear, but I was wrong. I was definitely wrong. I really should have... Oh. Okay. I think after we take the spear, I probably end the game. Play for tonight. Or tomorrow morning if we are precise, because I'm starting to get a very tired. I'm more tired than usual, actually. Which caught me a su by surprise. Although I have played this all already two hours. Mostly running around. What do we have here? Um, oh, it's Devil's Thorn. How much do I have? Three of those. I'm gonna... Yes. Where was the... Hmm. I'm gonna check this just because. Well, here we can see this lance has a leaf shape, is gold brimmed, and a fish is engraved on the tip. Um, but no. No gold. Oh, that's a spear also. This lance has got a blade in the shape of a spear. Its blade is in iron or steel, I think. I can make out a rising sun engraved on the tip. Nope. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, my nose. A Twitch. Fortunately, I'm not trying rally. Okay. I think there's a fish. Well, we can see that this lance has a particular spear shape. It is coated in gold. You can distinguish the symbol of the fish engraved on the tip, barely noticeable. Yeah, there's a cold. Not gonna take that then. So. So, so. 
yeah, there's one over there or anything. I'm gonna check. Okay, I'm gonna check this one. Nope. We can see that this lance has a leaf shape, and well, it's in gold. I can see that a crucifix is engraved on the tip, just barely visible. Okay. Basically, it's um, it's not a leaf shape. It was a tapered, if I remember correctly, which is, I think that um, the by translate PHG notes, I learned that it was shaped like a spear. It should be tapered spear, probably because it was a tapered spear. So it's not a leaf shape then. Well, it could, but uh, I don't believe that. Although I could be totally wrong. Honestly, if it's the one in the middle, I I am disappointed then. But let's check this first. I can see that this lance has the shape of a boar spear. The blade is partially coated in copper, and I can just make out the symbol of the Eye of Ra engraved on the tip. Then it's not this one. But now he mentioned the boar spear. Oh no. I can see this lance has a spear shape, it is copper rimmed, and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. Is it honestly that one or I'm gonna I'm gonna go through this. This lance has a leaf shape. It is copper rimmed. The symbol of the Christian fish is engraved on the tip. Okay. I think it's the one in the pedestal, although I might be totally wrong. Or maybe I was lied to. That could be also. Possibility? Uh, I think this was uh, with the crucifix. What about this lance? It's got a spear shape. And the blade is partly made of copper. A barely visible crucifix is engraved on the blade. But the problem is that we need the fish symbol. And I Unless I really missed one, which is possibility. It, I'm gonna check it once more. Once more with the feeling. I can see this lance has a spear shape. It is copper rimmed, and it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. And it was what? Fish on the tip. Yes. It should be this one. Let's take it. I must be sure of my choice. I cannot get it wrong. Am I absolutely sure this is the one to take? Well, with the information we have, I would say this is the right one, unless I missed something. Um, but I'll. I think this should be a proper time to end this because my eyes, I cannot keep them open any more longer. Probably tomorrow 
when I wake up I will record the rest of the game uh, if possible and uh, and uh, again I have a few ideas which are uh, of the games I will play next it might be actually uh, two games which I play uh, but I have to see it depends I'm not saying I'm not making any promises just yet because I'm not quite sure if I can it's not Caper or Night that, that much I can tell you and it's saved but basically I'm not sure if I can record the other game I'm thinking so I can't make any promises just yet but anyways uh, this game I'm playing quite slowly I know uh, it takes time to make those puzzles and of course it, although it, although I'm trying to run as fast as I can oh I do apologize uh, uh, it takes a little time to go to areas and uh, check every clue because yeah I don't I really don't want to miss a thing uh, but anyways I hope you have enjoyed this episode it's been a pleasure and I definitely definitely going to continue this because I want to know what choices I made yes so but to be honest I have to say I'm really surprised that I didn't lose my hand. I was almost 100% certain that I had made a mistake. I got lucky there. Interesting thing is, uh, so can you lose a hand and still continue? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. But I'm not gonna check that before I play this game at least once. So, anywho, I think this is the end, and uh, again, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we will see you next time. Until then, bye.